And can you sell on social media? Um, you're not supposed to direct, sell directly to people. Uh, you're selling indirectly is fine. So, for example, what you would do is say you are say your your businesses that you do training courses, you do management training. So, if somebody is complaining about the fact that their personnel are not up to speed with certain professional knowledge that they should have, um, what you might do is is so, you might uh, if someone says something on Twitter about that, you might respond to them and find out what problem they're suffering from. Um, you might share articles about how your training can help people. So what you do is you, uh, you put out inf inf informative and educational articles that, that people could find interesting and that help to promote you. Um, if people are talking about, if people's businesses uh, could benefit from what you do, um, you look out for people who are talking about uh, needs that they have, which you could maybe help. And then what you would do is you would reply to concerns that people have. Let's 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 use an example. Say uh, you're a um, you you're a skin specialist and people suffer from psoriasis. Uh, if somebody was talking complaining about their psoriasis, you wouldn't say to them, um, "Hi, I'm the skin doctor. I can help you." But what you might do is um, you might respond to that person and said, "Have you thought of using this or that or that or that sort of treatment for it?" And as a result of what you say, the person will then reply to you and want to find out more about you and what you do. So it's more about what, what, the way you sell on social media is to share your expertise. When you share your expertise with people, that gives you credibility and then people are more interested in what you have to say and they stop following you and then there are opportunities to engage with, with customers.